We're going to start with the legs first. We work our way from the bottom up to the top. And I already have one leg sewn on. You can see when I stand it up, the leg falls down freely. And when I sit it down, it sits down easily. And you can see I've sewn the entire flap to the body. If you've added eyes, make sure that you're well centered. And the leg should be sitting in a V, like so. I'm going to hold mine in place, but if you have pins, pins are very helpful. You can pin it and then check and make sure that it's positioned right. So this edge first, straight across, and I'm just whip stitching right to the body. You can see I just went in, grabbed around that row there. All the way across. And keep your stitches side by side. All right, I've made it across, so now I'm going to go back across over, and I'm going to go through the second row of that flap now. So make sure you get a stitch at the very edge. And then just go in and come up. And then I'm going to go back over one, one stitch. Go in and back up. And always make sure you get the edge to the very edge stitch down. And I'll put two in there and I'll knot it off on the second one. So before pulling that all the way through, go through that loop and pull tight. And now you just have to hide this yarn tail in the body. Just pull it through anywhere. Pull in it slightly and cut. Next we're going to sew the arms on. You can see I've already got one on. Pretty simple to do. And these ones get placed about three rows underneath the neck. You can see the rows there, one, two, three. So I just sew it right underneath there. All we do is sew that top flap, this part, to the body. So again, if you need to, add pins. When you get your first one in there, do the outer edge. Gives a nice finish here. And then go to the top and whip stitch across. And don't miss any stitches. I missed one there. You want to get every single stitch across. Give a nice clean finish, a nice look to the finish. And once you reach the other side, get just underneath this top row here, just that edge down. I'll do that one more time. That's knotted off. Now I'll just hide this yarn tail in the body. Pull on it slightly and cut. Next we're going to do the tail. We'll sew the tail on. So put the tail on uh, where I show you, on or about the same row that I show you. Um, it helps with the, the shorts, helps hold the shorts up. and when it sits down, you don't want it too low or too high. So in the pattern I say put the tail on, sew the tail on the side and the top uh, edge should be on or about row 55. You can count. I've already counted mine. That's on about right about there. Just make sure that it's centered. And we're going to whip stitch again this edge to the body. Okay, I was having a difficult time to sew and hold this up with one hand on camera. So just make sure when you're sewing along this edge that you keep the stitches right close to this edge. You can go in on a slant just like I showed you how to do with the paw pads. And uh, then you won't see any stitches. And then make sure you get this side here and then this side here. And then knot it off and hide the yarn tail in the body. Just like I showed you how to do with the legs and the arms.